Let's get right into it. Number one, the jump scare reflex picture. This, you're standing in your kitchen at 2 a.m. hunting for a snack when your cat makes a noise exactly one millisecond after you close the fridge. Suddenly, your body's doing a full Olympic gymnastics routine without consulting you first. Congratulations, you've just been jump scared by your own house pet. Here's what's really happening. Your ancient monkey brain has a built-in panic button called the startle reflex. It's basically your nervous system's emergency alarm system ready to go off at the slightest whiff of danger. Loud bang, sudden flash, unexpected TikTok notification at full volume, boom, your muscles spasm, your heart does the macarena, and you probably make a noise you'll deny later. This reflex is so deeply baked in you can't turn it off even if you try. Evolution gave it to you to help you not get eaten by things with claws or very sharp teeth. But these days, it mostly just embarrasses you in public. So if you've ever screamed when toes pops up, just remember, your body is trying to save you from deadly breakfast foods. Thanks, biology. Number two, the phantom phone vibration. You know the feeling. Your phone's in your pocket, or at least you think it is. Suddenly, you're sure you felt it buzz. Oh look, absolutely nothing happened. You check anyway, like the hope-deprived dopamine addict you are. This is called phantom vibration syndrome, and it's so common that yes, psychologists actually studied it, instead of just writing it off as people being weird. Turns out, your nervous system is a little jumpy, possibly because you've trained it to expect constant digital affection, so random nerve firings, muscle twitches, or even your pants shifting can trick your brain into thinking you've just gotten a life-changing notification. But no, just your leg gaslighting you. Some researchers think it's the modern version of hearing your name in a crowd. Your brain is tuned for stuff that might matter just in case. But these days might matter usually just means maybe someone liked your cat video. It's your own biology upgraded to be codependent with technology. Neat. Number three, Goosebumps the caveman sweater. Imagine you're watching a horror movie or maybe someone just walked over your grave. Whoever came up with that phrase needs to chill. Suddenly, every hair on your arm stands up like it's auditioning for a shampoo commercial. Goosebumps. Why are you cold spooked, suddenly starring in a werewolf transformation scene? Here's the deal. Goosebumps are what you get when your body tries to look tough, like really tough by making your hair stand up to scare off predators. This worked great when you were covered in fur. These days, unless you're a sphinx cat, it's just your skin doing cosplay as a plucked chicken. It can happen from cold fear or even a really good song thanks to a leftover reflex called piloerection. So the next time you get goosebumps, remember, that's your inner woolly mammoth trying and failing to protect you from Netflix originals. Number four, the tickle defense system. Let's talk about why you can't tickle yourself, but everyone else apparently can. Your little brother, Olympic level tickler, your own fingers, useless. This is because your brain, in its infinite wisdom, has a pre-installed no self-tickling firewall. Here's the science. When you try to tickle yourself, your cerebellum basically spoils the punchline by predicting the movement in advance. Your body registers it as totally normal, not a threat. But when someone else does it, surprise your brain can't predict it, so it goes into red alert. This is an ancient reflex designed to help you defend against creepy crawlies bugs or, you know, overly enthusiastic siblings. It's your body's way of saying self-inflicted tickles. Nah, unpredictable, stranger tickles, panic mode, engaged. Number five, the gag reflex ever brushed your tongue a little too far back and suddenly felt like you were about to reenact a scene from The Exorcist. That's your gag reflex, biology's way of making sure you don't accidentally swallow anything. You shouldn't like a whole toothbrush or a rogue Lego, or if you're a toddler, pretty much anything within arm's reach. This reflex is triggered when something touches the back of your throat and your body's response is basically eject, eject. It's one of the oldest survival systems you have, a personal bouncer for your digestive system. It also explains why every trip to the dentist is a terrifying, dignity-destroying ordeal. Ever try to act chill while someone pokes your uvula with a metal hook? Exactly. And for some people, the gag reflex is so sensitive that just thinking about it is enough to set it off. So if you've ever nearly thrown up during a toothbrushing session, just remember, your ancient biology is on high alert trying to save you from accidentally eating your own tongue. Nice work, evolution. Number six, the hypnic jerk. You're drifting off to sleep blissfully relaxed on the edge of a dream, and bam, your entire body spasms like you just stepped on a Lego. Congratulations, you've experienced the hypnic jerk, a little bedtime seizure. That's basically your body's way of trolling you. Here's what scientists think is happening. As you fall asleep, your muscles relax so much that your brain, which is still running on ancient firmware, freaks out and thinks you're falling out of a tree. Yes, apparently your brain is still convinced you sleep in trees. 
The result, it hits the panic button sending a jolt of electricity through your nervous system to catch you before you hit the ground. All of this while you were just trying to get some shut eye. So if you've ever launched yourself awake right before entering dreamland, don't worry, you're not broken. You're just hardwired for high stakes naps in the prehistoric jungle. Number 7. Blindsight Zombie Vision Imagine walking through a room, expertly dodging obstacles, despite having no idea what's actually in front of you. Sounds like a superpower or maybe a weird dream, right? But for some people with certain types of brain injury, this is real life. It's called blindsight and it's one of the creepiest quirks of the human visual system. Here's how it works. People with blindsight are technically blind in part of their visual field, but their brains can still process information from those areas without conscious awareness. So they'll say, they can't see an object, but if you throw a ball at them, they might catch it. If that's not zombie level behavior, I don't know what is. Blindsight proves your brain has secret backup systems for pretty much everything, including seeing without actually seeing. So next time you stub your toe in the dark, just remember, somewhere out there, someone's brain is running on mysterious background processes you can only dream of. Number 8. The Morrow Reflex. Baby's first freakout. Okay, babies are weird. If you've ever seen a newborn flail their arms and legs in a full body panic, you've witnessed the Morrow Reflex, or as I like to call it, tiny human surprise mode. Touch a newborn's crib or make a sudden noise and their little bodies will fling out their limbs like they're auditioning for Cirque du Soleil. This reflex dates back to a time when falling out of trees was a real concern again with the tree's evolution. It helps babies cling to their parents if they start to fall. The good news, we mostly outgrow it. The bad news, some of us never really outgrow the urge to panic flail, just ask anyone who's tripped on a sidewalk crack. So yes, your body came equipped with a full-blown drama queen mode from day one. Thanks nature. Number 9. Sneezing at the sun. Let's say you walk out of a dark movie theater into blinding sunlight and a chew. You sneeze hard for absolutely no reason. Welcome to the world of the photic sneeze reflex, also known as ACHU syndrome. Yes, that's a real medical acronym because scientists have a sense of humor too. Roughly one in four people have this glitchy brain wiring. Here's how it works. The nerves that process bright light signals are apparently living way too close to your sneeze trigger nerves. When the light floods in, the wires get crossed, your body panics, and boom, you're spraying invisible sunbeams everywhere. Evolutionary purpose, zero. In fact, it's one of those oops are bad moments from your genetic code. But it's a great excuse when someone asks why you sneeze like you're allergic to happiness. So next time you erupt into sneezing fits on a sunny day, just remember your reflexes are freelancing and there's nothing you can do about it. Number 10, the diving reflex. Now, for something a little, James Bond, ever stuck your face in cold waters? and suddenly felt your heart slow down. You didn't just transform into a penguin, you triggered the mammalian diving reflex, a primitive survival trick that shows up even if you can't swim. When your face hits cold water, your body instantly slows, your heart rate redirects blood to your core and preps your organs for an underwater apocalypse. It's your inner seal coming to life just in case you randomly find yourself dropped into the North Sea. This reflex is so strong, it's been used in emergency medicine to help slow rapid heartbeats and even resuscitate people after drowning. Of course, in daily life, it mostly just means you can't wash your face in the morning without feeling like you're prepping for a submarine adventure. Number 11. The Palmer Grasp Miniature Death Grip Here's a creepy cute one. Ever put your finger into a newborn's palm and felt them latch on with the force of a tiny furious crab? That's the Palmer Grasp reflex and it's baked into every brand new human. Babies, despite their lack of muscle tone or basic awareness, can grip your finger tight enough to almost lift their own body weight. Why? Because thousands of years ago, baby monkeys who could hang on for dear life while mama swung through the trees survive longer. See trees, again. So if you're ever startled by a newborn's freaky finger strength, don't panic. It's just ancient monkey code running in the background. Number 12. Chills from music audio. Goosebumps. Ever listened to a song and felt an electric jolt run down your spine followed by shivers or the sudden urge to dramatically stare out a rainy window? That's called free song or the aesthetic chills reflex. Your brain basically rewards you for powerful emotions with a sudden blast of dopamine and for some reason a mini skin earthquake. Why do you get this weird reaction? Scientists think it's your brain's way of letting you know something big just happened in your emotional world, something worth remembering. It's the same circuit that handled predator alerts, now repurposed for power ballads and Hans Zimmer soundtracks. So if you've ever gotten chills from a song, congratulations, you've tricked your primal instincts into thinking Adele is a life or death event. Number 13, the yawn chain reaction. You know that feeling you see someone yawn and suddenly it's like your face is possessed by a sleep demon. You yawn too. 
then someone else does. Before you know it, the whole office or classroom is yawning like a domino rally of exhaustion. This is the contagious yawn reflex and it's so mysterious that scientists are still arguing about why it happens. Some theories say it's about social bonding, your body's way of syncing up with your tribe like a prehistoric group hug. Others say it's empathy, your brain's subtle way of saying, I see you're tired so I'll pretend I am too. There's even a theory that it helps cool down your overheating brain. Either way, it's freaky how involuntary it is. Try resisting the urge after someone else yawns. You'll look weird, feel weird, and probably still end up yawning. Resistance is futile. So if you ever find yourself leading a yawn parade, congratulations, you've just unlocked the most basic form of mind control. Use your powers wisely. Number 14, the pupillary fear flash. Let's say you're startled, scared, or suddenly suspicious of the email subject line, we need to talk. Instantly, your pupils get huge like anime eyes, but less cute. This is called the pupillary fear response, and it's your eye's way of letting in more light so you can better spot danger or maybe just read passive-aggressive text messages in the dark. It happens in microseconds, totally outside your control, and it's so reliable that scientists can literally measure your stress level by the size of your pupils. If you've ever felt someone was wide-eyed with fear, they weren't being poetic. That's just basic eyeball biology. It's the human version of turning up the brightness on your phone when things get serious. So next time your eyes go full saucer mode, just know your ancient survival software is updating in real time, whether you like it or not. Number 15. Micro expressions, your face the traitor. Ever tried to hide your feelings and felt your own face betray you? Maybe you're in a meeting and your boss says something utterly infuriating, but you want to play it cool. Too bad your face is out here leaking microscopic clues called micro expressions to everyone around you. These last less than half a second, but trained observers or just your nosy friend can spot them. They're little flashes of true emotion, anger, disgust, fear that sneak past your conscious control. Your nervous system leaks them because once upon a time your survival depended on quickly signaling run or I'm cool, don't eat me to the group. In modern times, it mostly just gets you caught rolling your eyes at the wrong moment. So if your poker face has ever failed you, blame millions of years of evolutionary honesty settings that just won't turn off. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.